welcome, ladies and gentlemen, with another game between me and Nilla. Our third game. Hopefully, me and Nilla will play some more so we can get some more games in. Anyway, I'm going to be playing Vanguard Goring, one of my favorite decks. And Nilla's going to be playing a very interesting Beck 184th. Kind of shit, I don't really ever see people play it. I wasn't even aware what was in the deck. Anyway, let's take this thing off. Oh, yeah, we did the bands. We did ban like the SD, rule, uh, the SD rules are for the league for season five. So we do like five bands each, I believe. You know, we do, I think, I don't even know how many maps we ban. I forget, I have to look at the rule set again. Anyway, let's start this thing. I'm on the left, I'm on the right. You'll see me deploying more heavily on the northern flag. I'm trying to grab these two flags, or at least attempting to. And then we're seeing Nilla here. And I think I'd say that he's deploying. A little more force in the uh, southern flank compared to me. I'm just sending some pioneers and some Urzots. Or it's actually just some, actually some Panzergrams. Fewer, some Urzots I think in center. Yep, with the pack gun. Some more Urzots. And then the rest of my forces are up here. So it looks like Nil will have a little bit less forces up on the northern front. And here we go. Oh, there's always that little pop. So... 184 is kind of an interesting pick. I think again, I kind of got the better pick inside. I think on this one, I got a counter pick. Maybe he counter picked me. I don't remember. That's <laughs> so bad. It's been so well. It's been some time now. Anyway, I'm opening up some uh, some MG42s with an AC gun, I'm trying to get secure security here. You want to get tons of MGs. You can cover all the force, wiping out any. Uh, any real infantry, uh, any of the AT guns or IG guns. Seeing Nilla try to run up a uh, flamethrower. Looks like he's going to do pretty well to catch me off guard. MG42 is going to get flamethrowered. It's in the house. It's one burst off. Um, yeah, another one. Seems to get one more flame off. And then this thing's like going to keep moving. Because every time a flame hits you, your unit starts to move. And the MG42 cannot be moving. I'm trying to move this guy out. Give me a side shot. Uh, I got my MG42s in position. Pack 40s in good position. Bring up some Urzots to screen. Nilla throwing down another. I'm going to send some Urzots. Nothing much over here. Just moving up a little bit. Looks like Nilla's moving up. We're seeing an opening up with a flame vehicle. 120 points. I have a big investment right off the bat. Um, doesn't look like he's, it looks like he's doing a blind drop. I thought he was going to hit me in front, so I started backing up. And look, I actually run right into it. Oh, but I dodged it just a little bit. That was a waste of 120 points there. This guy's still surrounded <laughs> by smoke. If you're knocked out, so we're talking about the IG, all the AT guns here. That's why it's so key to get your MGs in this area. Especially those double vetted MG42s, which are so good. Because you get three of them double vetted in A. Bring another card, I believe, in B, giving me another six. The flamethrower takes me out with an IG gun. I think it was the IG gun. I don't even think it was flamethrower. I'm gonna take that northern flag. I'm down a flag right now. Nothing going on down the southern flank. You see me pouring in guys over here. It'll bring out an IS-122. 120 points. I'm trying to move up slowly with the MGs. I have enough firepower to do some stuff. Some action going on in the southern flank. Or mid flank. Some Panzergrands fighting some DP. My Panzergrands should win. Those so his are double vetted. Something to know. I'm taking some armor cars to reinforce with an 88. I didn't know if he had clusters or not, so I wanted to bring an 88. <laughs> I just wasn't sure what was going on. I've never played like one v one against 184th. Trying to get some more infantry. I need to get this flag at one point. Bring out some of my SVWs, the 223s. They're so good. Recommend them always. Look at that. Nil has got some forces up here. He could kind of overrun this whole southern flank. There's no sign of me. I'm bringing up some more Panzer fours and such. I want to get to this point right now. I want to just get this main really. It's really hard to get back. Plus, you can kind of put pressure on this area. Taking this flag. And now that's evened out. So I have this flag. Nil's got the northern flag. Does crew kill one of mine? He's got a lot of these little AT guns. 35 points. Though not against that much firepower. <laughs> Hopefully with the range changes like that, that won't happen. 
It's supposed to be range changes in the next big DLC that comes out next the end of next month. I try pushing a little Nilla counterattacks perfectly. He's got triple vetted units. I have double vetted. His are in green cover. Mine aren't. It's not going to be a good scenario. Back up on here. I'm trying to move up here. GP is going to take out my uh, 2 uh, two, 3 3. There's that not really moving up. So it's looking good for Nilla. I'd say the trade's pretty even though. I'm about to immediately back up. I just 122 do not want to fight. I send these guys along the side. Got an AT gun there though. Feel bad for these two Urzots. These nine Urzot men. Gotta get destroyed by Superior here. To the satchel. Tell the satchel. Goes out. Another one being thrown. There goes those two guys. Nine guys. <laughs> See how these good these double vetted IG guys are so um, double vetted MGs are so good to have. Just destroy AT and IG guns. I'm telling this guy to focus fire. Kills that. Click my MG42. Can't really see much. Doing out my SBW. These ones are really good. They don't really get pinned by uh They do get pinned by AT guns, but they don't get really pinned by the DPs. I'll move these guys back. I'm trying to move up. Lucky kid, it was low. It was low enough health that we got it, which is super lucky for us. Yeah, we're really destroying his AT guns and IG guns, which are adding up in cost. They haven't been really killing that much. I move up uh, some more infantry here. Back up the survivors. Actually, maybe I didn't bring up any more infantry. Maybe these are the same guys. They're about to be totally overrun in a second. Not looking good down there. Fortunately, we're making some headway here. Kind of, maybe. Bring up a 122. It's kind of an interesting buy. I started to see this. I was really concerned about a total collapse. I wasn't that concerned, though, compared to the north. I was content losing this flag. Just one flag. Trying to gang it up here. You can definitely see I have a lot more resources to put it to the north. Hill is trying to, like... I think he was thinking about making a push for the center. This smoke kind of gave it away, I think, a little bit. Maybe a little too early. Concerned about? What was he concerned about here? Is there like an angle? That you can shoot down? Hmm. Guess I'm not really sure. He tries moving up, but I'm moving my pack gun. The pack 40 will pin pretty easily, the IS-122. He does not want to lose 120 points. Starting to make some headway here, clearing out some areas. MG42 is still in a good position. Uses an IG gun all by itself. Good thing I brought up that 88. It's fed it as well with the leader. Bring up another pack 40. Yeah, it doesn't even get doesn't even get anything. That's 120 points haven't done much the whole game. Bring up some Urzots just to hold the open. Bring a 223 just to sit down in the open as well. Two of them. But he can't really do much. Moves out in the open. Oh, you see infantry. Hmm. Nothing much going on though. I know he's got some infantry in here, like some flamethrowers. I saw them early in the game. Want to do something about it? I think I buy bombers, if I remember correctly. I guess yeah. This is actually kind of covered. So let's see the angle I was talking about. There's got to be one, right? Not really. Maybe right here. Yeah, maybe right here. Got an okay spot. Destroys me in two seconds though. I'm seeing the Urzots. This is where I'm making my stake. I'm trying to micro pretty heavily now. Maybe I was a little slower than the day. But like, I lose a lot of guys to this area of the map. Not microing my Panzer Grins and such. If they just unloaded them earlier, they would have survived. Yeah, and a lot of like single AT guns moving up from uh, Nilla here, and now he's in a big trouble. There's nothing really up here. He's got these uh, Zisk guns, which are 55, 50 points, all by themselves. No infantry support. He sent him out of AA. Guess he was concerned about uh, Cluster Bomber. But yeah, there's not much up here. Like I'm coming crashing on here. He is splitting off some resources, but not gaining much down here. Like There isn't that many flags. Like Best case, he takes both these flags, but they're pretty easy to recapture. They're kind of hard to defend. You have to, like, it's very hard to hold on to for him. 
Well, losing like a flag like this, or if I get in down here, pretty rough. And now my firepower is trading really effectively. Losing this, lost two assist guns right there. It's another 100 points going down. He's got that aircraft he bought for 120 that hasn't really paid for itself. Got the only that um, ISC-122 is really doing it much. It takes out one of my 223s, but not much. I bring up a cluster. Try to kick out. I'm trying to back my vehicle up. Unfortunately, every time I seem to bring out an aircraft, the same issue happens where I lose sight the last second. I mean, he backs up, so it's it's not me. Do I get it? No. Almost. So I don't lose the aircraft, so it gets away. Fine. Seeing that flame trooper finally coming out on the field. All of these flamethrowers are in the same spot. And this learned me to learn the X key. If you push X, yeah, see, I just learned this from actually Vulcan's video. I mean, it doesn't work there because I did too late, but like he does kill uh, three squads there of the uh, flamethrowers. So, you know, 45 points. Finally, some points are being recovered by this thing. <laughs> Bye. Just kind of flying it about. I don't think he means to. Yeah, he just keeps flying it about. I guess he's going to go in for a strafe. Now you're starting to see me take, I took out this flag. I cleared it out. Some Urzots. And then when the Urzots spotted them, all the tanks unloaded on them. So now I'm making some actual headway down here. And Nilla's starting to collapse all the way. And you look on the map. He is, doesn't really have the units on the field to really counter what I have. He doesn't have the medium tanks. I think that was his issue playing this deck. I'm not sure why he like he's trying to play the AT game. And I, I guess my deck doesn't tend to have that many tanks, but the few tanks I do are pretty pretty beast. The Tiger Tank, I bring a double vet Tiger Tank, which I think I'm going to change. Maybe I can do it one vetted. <laughs> and then, like, uh, we got, you know, my Yak Panthers and such. They're really hard to beat. I guess he was helping you knock those out with the IS-122s. Yeah, he's going to move in with Stuart. He does have some Stuart, it looks like. He does have Valentines. They're really good vehicles. I mean, after this game, we'll look at the, my deck and also we'll look at a 184th of what it would look like. To get an idea. Unfortunately, because it's not a league, I don't have uh, access to his deck. But yeah, I'm able to keep taking him. He has taken me more, though, throughout the game. He's kind of condensed in this area. Seeing two IS 122s push up. I immediately am like, uh uh, not dealing with that. I'm backing up. No, thank you. Seeing a M42 fire at max range, probably not going to pin me anytime soon. Send a flamethrower down here. We got the superior. Fortunately, I lost those three flamethrowers. If I didn't lose those guys, Sarah would kind of be mine. Need some Monomo Cheeky. Some standard infantry, line infantry. You have these pack guns, though. It's going to make them back up. Think twice before pushing. Uh, is this going to fire time? Oh, fires the wrong target. Oh, takes two shots, I guess. Oh, we missed. I'm going to move up a little bit. I'm sending a lot of forces now. I'm like, oh, I'm sending tanks. I decided. Cluster coming in. I didn't see all this AA, really. And I, I should have because I saw AA shooting me towards the end. But I think I auto evac'd it and I wasn't looking down here anymore. Kind of just went like, just forgot. I don't know what I was thinking. He got double vetted of him too. Oh no! Can I get through? Oh, got part of it off. And I get him. So that pays for itself. This thing's 100 points. That's 120. I'll take that trade. These uh, flag uh, 37 are just so bad. You really need three of them to really do anything. I, and I don't think double vetting is the way to do it. I think one vet, and then he can just bring a leader next to him. And then he can have... I don't know. I don't know. It's rough. Just rough all around. These things are just so bad. Maybe Nil is right. Nil is smoking off, though. Covering his action. My tiger tank's coming up. It's triple vetted. Uh, misses a shot. My thing loads way faster. Oh, well, I loaded another shot for him. Yeah. Difference between no vet and triple vet. I bounce. That's crazy. 
he hits me once, I'm dead. If I... I take him out, though. Get really lucky, though. I mean... Oh, wait. No, he's still alive. He's just crew killed. I mean, that's dead anyway. That's really unfortunate for him. He loses another 120 points. That could have really changed the tide if I lost my tiger there. 120 points as well. Mine. Mine was triple vetted, so I had a way higher fire rate. Let's bring out another IS-122. Coming around the corner. Gets shot from an SPW. Takes... Loses one health already. Tiger tank aiming. Kills me, but I kill him. That tiger paid for itself. Killed an extra 120 points before dying. So I don't have any more of them. That was the only one. Luckily for me, though, that going down lets me kill these infantry. Big mistake on those guys trying to get in. The smoke had disappeared by the time he tried pushing up. Leaving that smoke guy not... No, uh, uh, that 60 points worth on the smoke did nothing because of that. My pants are going to trying to get down here. I'm like trying to get at this point. I'm like, what's going on here? Ranger fours are kind of moving up. Lucky me, I took out that <laughs> that vehicle. Bring out some aircraft here. Boring doesn't really have that many aircraft. To be fair, I saw his Automo Chiki coming in here. This will play key later. Or I'll just ignore this force because I know he's just gonna destroy me. Like these two Panzer fours are really doing work. Starting to see some more Valentines coming out from Nilla. Nilla is winning. He's got two, three flags on me. I only have one. So I think I'm in the better positioning right now. Like these flags, I can pretty much easily capture. Well, I'm on the verge of grabbing this flag. I pretty much have this flag kind of locked down. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a slower pace now, the fight. I mean, at this point, I was kind of nervous. Like, I was like, oh, man, there's no chance. <laughs> Looks like he's going to ambush me with the... Lucky these things are double vetted. Oh, but they don't even... They're not even aiming at the AT gun. Guess they can't see it. I try moving a squad up here. He just dies. Make no progress. Lose, an, lose a Panzer IV. Thanks some more infantry to support the push. Seeing uh, Nilla here trying to move up. Fortunately, his disc gun gets stuck down immediately. He's moving up the AA. I don't know what he's doing here. Maybe trying to use him as frontline units? I don't know. I, mean, I don't have any tanks. <laughs> but they're just going to get chewed up. I guess he really wanted to stop this flag. I guess he just needs to get the double take, right? But, um... Losing the few AA units, he goes down. My whole center is, like, weirdly collapsing. But there isn't much holding it. There's only these, this, like, depleted Superi and one flamethrower. See me move out here. Twelve minutes on the clock. I'm being double checked. You can definitely tell I've been training more effectively. Seeing that 120 point aircraft come out once again. IL-2 is one of this beautiful aircraft. Bandergrounds are pretty good though. This is gonna hurt though. I try spreading them out. I'm like get out of the way. One of you is gonna take it. Oh my gosh, feels bad. Looks like I have no answer to it. I think I'm waiting for the next tick so I can secure the next... Yeah, you see me now. We just end the next tick and the next minute we get more income. And now it looks like our priorities are different. Nil is splitting his resources between the north and the south. I'm deploying all my resources now to the southern flank to secure back my flags. Yeah, it's not good for me right now. I'm getting shredded. 34, uh, my T-34s though, or can do some work here. Just have two of these AT guns waiting for me to walk around the corner. I know they're there. I guess I just don't care. I'm gonna come around that corner and it's gonna be bad. Get this flag back though. You know, I'm moving up the AT guns, trying to keep that double ticket. Looks like really desperate, running up. Some weird units. He's getting a side shot in here. 
I immediately am like, alright, I'm getting out of here. Keeping these on return fire. I thought maybe I'd kill them, maybe, because of this. But these are on low health. One of them is really low. It's the ambush on me. I immediately tell this guy, I'm like, shoot, shoot the, shoot the AT. I tell this also to stop and shoot this. And he kind of just gets unlucky. Like, if he would have called him out a minute, a couple of seconds before that, before this SBW here and this infantry moved up, probably would have kicked out both the T-34s. I know he's got Adam Machiki in here, so I'm trying to go around. I grab this flag back. He takes this flag, so nothing much. His double take has been stopped, though. I think the difference was I was kind of okay with the game going longer because Nilo builds decks a little more shallow in comparison to me. Like, I just build my decks for, like, crazy sustain, you know. Which is sentimental to me in the early game. I just kind of get rolled, but <laughs> for a lot of games I play. But in general, though, it's, it's helped me out if the game goes long. I think it's more noob-friendly to do that, in my opinion. Panzer Grand gets in the wrong engagement, fighting the Ottoman Chiki. So for some reason, the Panzer Grand's winning. All right, now it's losing, like it should be. <laughs> an aircraft to get this. As you get that suppressing all my infantry moving in. And it's done. Takes this flag, looks like he's gonna take this flag. I immediately turn into his aisle too. I'm gonna try to peel out though. I don't want to fight Nile too. Unfortunately, I do a head on with him. That's what this thing's okay with. I'm gonna keep uh, keep up with me though. More infantry are coming up. And take this flag. Looks like, but doesn't really have that much. Second squad of Panzer Grenadiers are moving up. There's no issue. Seeing a heavy AA gun come out from Nilla. Uh, T34 trying to shoot down the main road. I don't see these Valentines or anything coming up. Do I get it? Um, yep, kill that squad. Valentine engagement on T-34. Not a good engagement for me. Plus the flame. I think it's probably paid for itself now. Yeah, it doesn't kill, what the heck? Fix this stuff, all these Valentines are kind of rolling up on me. I'm using the 88 now as a frontline unit. <laughs> so it's way too many forces. So it looks like now I'm having the momentum in the south. Like there's a lot more units of mine down here than it is Nilla, but Nilla's starting to make the maneuver maneuver up here. I'm able to trade some good kills though. This thing's already kind of paid for itself. 88's gonna go down though. I'm bringing up some more Panzer IVs. Of course, I have a lot of guys moving down the center though. There isn't much here. I'm about to send some of my special weapon. I bring these. I don't even know how to say it. Volcare? I don't know. Volcare? Something like that. You know, again, the double tick. Somehow doing this? I don't know what this is. What the heck? <laughs> that was weird. Cleaning up that. So stopping the double tick. I'm pushing up. About to lose this unit. Hopefully. Angel 4 is moving up. There's not much action in the very far north. Seeing again this thing coming out. I see this this time. Come on, move. You see me going like, I need to move, I need to move. My men derp out. Oh no. He goes to the one in the green forest. I should have unloaded these guys. I do. Okay, so they're moving up. There's almost nothing in center right now. Bring up an 88. I'm trying to put it in a position to look down the main road. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. I think Nilla should have done something similar. But he kind of moves it around here. I guess he's trying to cover the center as well. This gives me that flag, though, killing that AT gun. I'm ba he's about to lose this flag, giving me another flag. I move up the Panzer IVs. They do okay. They take out some tanks. They trade, I guess. But not really that efficiently. 88 is set up. I'm just going to take out that Valentine. At least he's going to try to. Yep, there it goes. That goes down. There's the flag here. Center is like totally bulging.
Let's we'll try to bring up reinforcement. Doesn't have much infantry here. Doesn't really have much tanks left as well. I'm kind of looking. That, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that he has no tanks left. If he does, he has very few. Definitely doesn't have as much infantry. I have like 80 something plus infantry in this deck. I'm not even close to running out. We're just seeing the first of my C card of these guys, the Volcair. Starting to move up a little bit. I'm just gonna start pushing. Really, there's not much left. There's, he's thin here. He's got no more pushing power for center. Brings up an 88. That's a smart move, though. Anything moves over the edge, it dies. Bring up my own eight, another 88. Consolidate. Bring up some more infantry. Yeah, we're seeing some more stewards, though. He does have that. They're pretty bad. I don't think I have many tanks as well. Try getting these guys out of the way of the fire. L2 backs up. Scouting if there was AA, there was none. My ADA is coming up though, unfortunately. See this breakdown here, I'm gonna start pushing. Bring up some more infantry to back it up. Yeah, pretty much, you can just kinda see the momentum has slowed down. I kind of this leans to my favor because I just have yeah as I said before I, I think I just build my decks with more stuff. Lots of Valentines though. It does take my flag for me though. Nilla is ticking up once again, so he's ticking up well. See me get caught out of position a little bit. I should have just move these guys to the green cover. Take this flag though. Canceling out the flag in the north that I lost. I'm making some good headway to center though. I do have that Panzer 3M that would shield the steward these stewards if he tries moving up. I did not know he had this 88 here, so like I'm just moving up blindly. That's how this guy's a scout. Altitude comes out. I bring out my aircraft. So Nail should know there's an 88 here. From the last time when he got lost his Valentine. Maybe you didn't see the Valentine die to the 88, that's why. I'm on his butt though. I shoot him down. I notice there's an 88. I tried going for it. With my infantry. There's a Stuart though here, I don't have any AT. I set my 88 up here so I can shoot any guys trying to move up. I'm gonna get this flag back pretty quickly. It's like that. Back even with Nilla. Nothing going on much though. Bring up another Panzer. I'm gonna start bringing up some more armor. Counter it. I'm out of HG on this Panzer. How much does it take carry? Oh my god, like 29 pieces. That's out. I fired all of them. I wish it would tell you how much damage you did, right? Like, a squad has 10 guys, some squads have 12. What is the damage? Seeing one of these come in. Wanted to make sure these two guys can get hit. Oh, there goes that squad. It's instant death. He gets this like a little fire shot. There's another one, so he's got two of these. This was a problem. I needed to kill that. It was keeping me down, pinned down. This is smart by Nilla. He can't see this unit. I'm certain of it. That's the kill though. Giving him this flag. Andergrand is shooting at this. Trying to get the kill. 88 dies. I can move up some more tanks. It's not an 88, the 85. Yeah, Panther moving up. That should clear out all the stewards. Sending some tanks to center to clear out the stewards from the cheap infantry. I'm being double checked though, so this is now or never to kind of get this the ball rolling here. It's not like it's not good. Like this is not good on the front. I am being double checked. Try and get some infantry.
one good thing about this is right. Oh, oh, that was a big uh, lag spike right there. Sorry, guys. Um, that the flags that I'm down, these three flags, are n not that far from like where I need to be. All right, move over the edge. I really take out that. A loader knocked out, which is a huge. I back up though. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do this. I lose my yak panzer. Like, that's not happening. That's what I thought to myself. Plus another Panzer IV. Which wasn't great because I was losing pretty bad. I was losing at this point pretty bad. But, like, I was not too concerned. Like, I wasn't looking at the timer at this point. Like, I just thought, like, hey, these two flags will probably be mine. Takes with the double take. Double. Pretty much extending the time, but double. Try sending out an infantry squad to get this. This uh, AT gun. Or AA gun. I decided to send the aircraft because it's shooting at my infantry. It's at a weird angle, it won't be able to do anything until it's too late. And I see me move up. The shot up before dying. Andrew 4 is moving up. I start snaking around here. I was like, if I can't push this area, fine, I'll go around. Like, that's the thing, you just gotta go around. And you're gonna see me start to, like, derp around the side. Like, there's no way for me to push up there. If I can push up there, I'm dead. May as well just sit there. Go around. Now, I've, that's why I'm directing all my forces now to center. I was taking this area. There's no point in me fighting it. Panzer 3 is firing something. Looks like it's firing the sniper. Yeah, the time's double now. Getting lucky with the squads moving up. Clearing out. Giving me this flag back. There isn't much in center. Jack Panther's moving up. I don't know what's over here. I was able to drop my uh, grenade here. Bundle grenade, whatever it's called. AT grenade. Moving up. Gets a side shot of me. I turn though. He turns away. I'll just go shoot at his uh, AA gun, I guess. Grab this flag for a second. I'm guessing Nilla is out of stuff, because like we're not really seeing much come on the field. Oh no, here comes this. He doesn't get it all off. Give me some tanks here. I'm sending more infantry. Panzer 4 is coming in. And if I had more, uh, like, an aircraft deck, I feel like I'd do much more, like, way better, honestly. He, he had no flat guns. Looks like he brings one late card. Maybe he, I mean, he has these. That's not true. He does today. I'm just going to start moving up here. Seeing some uh, leaves come out. Man leaves. I get this flag back, get my infantry to secure this area. Moving over here. It does get the kill on me. I'm moving up a Panzer IV in center. Center's totally collapsing right now. This is the big engagement. Can I win this? Get him. IS-122 coming in for some reason. CQC combat. Oh, this triggered me. These guys turned around and started shooting that. Get the kill. Flames coming in. I decided to drive forward. Fortunate. Makes me back up. I respond in kind with a Nile too. He tried moving up. And he loses Valentine, so there's nothing here. I'm trying to move his, his ISU. I'm making total progress to center. I just made a huge push here. Wiping out all these guys. I get the cluster off. Killing both his last of his tanks. There's nothing in the center now. It's a total collapse. 
He's just got a couple things here, stewards, which aren't going to do too well. Max range engagement against a Panzer 4G. He does take out my LT, but it killed all that. It killed 120 points over that ISU, and I just killed 45 points. So it paid for itself easy. And then I one shot on IL2 <laughs> with the 88. So we can look at the stats. It's actually pretty even. So, I mean, it could have gone a little worse. I feel like I had the better division, though, compared to Nilla. But, you know, he had all those Valentines, a lot of infantry. But let's look at the chronology. He had a good opener. Killing a lot of my stuff. Killing two MG42s. Am I only killing one? Yeah, I mean, range pretty even the whole game. I think I just had more stuff, which like doesn't lean towards his side at all because I don't think he had as much. Anyway, let's uh, go look at my division. Let's exit out quickly. Sorry, it's taking so long. And all right, back profile. Oh no, battle groups. Okay, I was playing Goring, my Vanguard. I may have updated since then. So the update I did from that game, I think I, I should I think I should unvet this. Actually I can't. There's no choice. I don't think I'm gonna bring this in A. I don't think it's really smart to do so. Now, this is my deck, so I have a lot of infantry, 79 infantry, armor cars, decent amount of tanks, 20, plus I have all these Yag Panzers. I'm not gonna run out of those. Decent amount of AA. No aircraft. No, there's no real aircraft in this deck. Kinda of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, I'd like to look at his 184th. Just look at the deck. Some standard Russian infantry. He does have Valentine. I think you took him later, maybe in B. Stewart's. It's a lot of anti tank. They brought, like, it looks like all of these. I haven't even seen any rocket aircraft. Pretty good. And B get two. Let's say he's gonna work with a light AT and focus on infantry combat. Which I think I just had, yeah, I just What do you bring for anti air? Brought one of these double vetted. He brought two of them in A, I think. And he brought one of these unvetted, I think. Like that. Maybe one of these in A. I think that's what he did. Could probably use these a little bit more. Like I was running low on tanks because I don't have them any. I have twenty. Like it wasn't like I definitely had more tanks. Sure. Anyway, thanks Neil for playing. Leave a like, guys. Let's leave a comment. Subscribe. Unsubscribe later. You can always unsubscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. And uh, anyway, I'll see ya.